you for all these beautiful people. Thank you for all the servants that come out, Lord. Thank you for the signs, the calls, everything you've given us, Lord. Thank you for the very breath we breathe, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, he's such a good God. I'm going to share something real quick, and I'm going to stop. This time last year, this very day last year, I was a broken soul. I was a defeated soul. All of my life seemed like it was all crashing in on my life. I'm not going to go further than that, but a lot of things was happening in my life. I was losing everything. I was losing a marriage, and I was losing this and that. And I thought, God, what did I do? What's happening? But you see, God is always working on the, when we can't see him, church, he's always working behind the scenes. Little did I know what God was going to do with my life one year from today. I didn't know this was going to happen. Hallelujah. This is all the Lord. The Lord spoke to our bishop, and bishop spoke to me, and before you know it, here we are, hallelujah, having a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner with you beautiful people. But last year, my life was, it seemed like I had no more life left. I seemed like I was never going to be happy again, never going to smile again, never preach again. But oh, the devil's a liar. The devil's a liar, church. I'm here to tell you today that the devil is a liar. There's no truth in him. Everything he says is a lie. And if you're here today and the enemy's been telling you that you're defeated and you're no good and you're never going to be happy and you're never going to have good things in life, I want to let you know something. You're looking at a walking, living, breathing testimony of the goodness of God, the restoration of God, because God's restored my life. God gave me back the ministry. God gave me back so much that the enemy took from me. Hallelujah. Gave me a beautiful apartment. Hallelujah, where I was at for five years. But God said, just be patient, son, and I'll reward you. See, sometimes you got to wait on the Lord, people. Sometimes you got to wait on God. See, God's not in a hurry, Kimberly. God's not in a hurry. you got to be patient with the Lord. Nothing I've learned of all that I've learned from God is you got to sometimes be patient and you got to wait on God. Praise God. I just wanted to share that. God will not let you down. I'm here to tell you something. If you think that God will let you down, he's the only one you can trust. He's the only one you can hope in. He's the only one that you can believe in. He's the only one that will never leave you, never forsake you. He'll never let you down. He'll never disappoint you. He'll never leave you empty. But your family will. Your friends will. The world will. But God will never, ever disappoint you or let you down. Hey, he says, I've carved you in the palm of my hand. You're in the very palm of his hand, people. Tracy, you're in the palm of his hand. And he loves you more than you could ever imagine. All of us here, he loves us. Amen. The Bible says when we were sinners, Christ died for us. While we were sinners, while we were in our wickedness, while we were against God, God died on the cross for us. Woo! One more thing I'm going to say, I'll be quiet. The joy that was set before the Lord on the cross, guess what it was? I talked this right over there at the Elks place one time. Guess what the joy that was set before Jesus when he was on the cross? You and I, we were his joy. We were his strength. We were what kept him on the cross. We're the ones that kept him there to finish the complete work so that we could come to know him one day, so we could come to salvation. We his joy. We were his strength. Think of that. The God of all creation, we were his strength. 
we were his joy. He saw you, Brandon. He saw you, Pastor Dominic. He saw you, man with the clutches. He saw you set before him on the cross. And he says, I'm going to die for that young man. I'm going to die for Kimberly. I'm going to die for Tracy. I'm going to die for Tina. Amen. I'm going to die for you over there across the street, he said. Why? Because you were his joy. Because he loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. God bless all of you. If anybody needs prayer, come on over. We've got pastors, evangelists, men of God, women of God to pray with you. And believe God for your miracle. I've been saying this since I come down here. This could be the very day your life could be changed forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.